A lot of people are deciding that becoming a plumber is right for them. There's a lot of demand for plumbers right now in the dead of winter. On Glassdoor.com, when searching for plumber, there's about 9,000 job postings. On Indeed, around 14,000. And on LinkedIn, around 37,000 job postings for plumbers across the United States. All in all, there's over 50,000 job postings on various job boards for plumbers. And in 2020, the average base salary, not including overtime, was around $61,000 for plumbers nationwide, meaning they're one of the highest paid tradesmen out there. There's pretty good compensation and pretty healthy demand for plumbers nationwide. But what many people don't understand is that many plumbers have a career progression and it's heavily regulated. A lot of people become plumbers or electricians mainly because they want to avoid taking tests or taking exams. They want to work with their hands. And this brings us into the sponsor for this particular video, Upstrive. Upstrive's mission is to help you prepare, pass, and earn so that your future has limitless success in the trades. They provide one-on-one -on -one personalized online exam and licensing prep for professionals to confidently pass their state or national exams. And they link aspiring professionals with expert tutors. On January 26th and 27th, Upstrive is hosting Upstrive Connect. And this is a 2022 conference. It is actually 100% free. There's a lot of really great speakers, opportunity to meet with speakers one-on-one, -on -one, thousands of dollars in giveaways. You can actually win some of this merch right here. And again, it's a completely free conference. There's quite a few influencers, YouTubers that are going to be at this conference talking. If you're interested, there's a link below in the description to sign up for the Upstrive Connect conference. One of the benefits to using Upstrive is to quickly get your journeyman level license as a plumber to really help you continue your progression as a plumber. The plumber career path kind of looks like this. First, you graduate from high school and get a GED. Then there's an education and or apprenticeship, and these can last between four and five years, typically. After going through your apprenticeship and getting educated, then you try and obtain your journeyman level license. And what does this mean, actually becoming a journeyman level plumber? A journeyman level plumber is a plumber who is qualified to work on plumbing without supervision. Plumbing apprentices cannot work without supervision. They constantly have to be supervised and corrected if they make a particular mistake. Meanwhile, journeyman plumbers have completed training and a licensing process to ensure they have the knowledge and skills necessary to complete plumbing work alone. At this point, they can work in residential or commercial settings. Journeyman plumbers install or repair plumbing fixtures. They understand plumbing systems and know how to diagnose and fix plumbing issues in homes or commercial properties. Some of their tasks might include fixing broken pipes, unclogging drains, replacing garbage disposals, helping homeowners set up a new bathroom, and installing plumbing for an addition to a new home. The problem with getting a journeyman level plumbing license is the rules and regulations for getting these licenses are completely different depending on which state you live in, which city you live in, or which county you live in. Here's the requirements in three different popular states. In the state of Florida, you must have had at least four years of experience. You have to be insured and you have to pass an exam. Meanwhile, in the state of New York, all rules and regulations are at the county and state level. In Texas, you actually have to be registered as a tradesman plumber first, have at least 8,000 hours of working time, 48 hour training course, and various exams and codes. So here's one particular website, nextinsurance.com and they have plumbing license requirements by state. Unfortunately, this hasn't been updated. This is from last year, and many of these rules and regulations can change year to year. But they go through every single state. Alabama, a journeyman level plumber, you must have two years of experience as an apprentice or must complete an apprentice training program. But just going through this, every state is different. And oftentimes, certain states, they push everything out to the uh, county level. For example, in the state of California, look at all these requirements in order to become a licensed journeyman level plumber. And in many states, they actually have a different title before journeyman level plumber. In the state of Colorado, they have a residential plumber, which you have to get before becoming a journeyman level plumber. So definitely check out this website and you can see how varied the rules are depending on which state you live in. So as you can see, there are different types of plumbers. Plumbers actually have a career path where they go from being an apprentice, sometimes a residential plumber, and like in the state of Colorado, to becoming a journeyman and then a master plumber. And then at that point, management and potentially owning your own business. Are you interested in becoming a plumber? Let us know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.